It is awesome, but we're gonna start things off today with an excavator that truly puts the extreme into extreme machines. Meet Mitch Coors. He's got a pretty unique job. Typical reaction is, uh, you're crazy. <laughs> See, Mitch runs heavy equipment in places where you might think heavy equipment should never go. A lot of stuff can go wrong on the hill. Every move is a different risk, really. I mean, you go from steep to unstable to both. Oh, so if it lets go, then yeah, that's, that's it. It's going for a ride. <laughs> so if you're going to go over the edge there, if it's just to the right of that is our center line. Sounds good. Okay, we'll check on you later today. Okay. This job, the mountain itself is very steep. I mean, it goes 45 degrees to steeper to vertical, to vertical and uneven. And uh, yeah, it, it's extreme terrain. It's you know pushing me on this job, that's for sure. Today's task, clear a swath down the side of this mountain. What makes that possible is Mitch's very specialized machine. He calls it a spider excavator. A normal excavator, you can't adjust anything. It's got a rigid undercarriage, so if it's uneven, you're gonna be uneven. The legs on this machine, I can adjust it so I can be a little level on uneven terrain, steep, all terrain, really. With so many moving parts, it's not an easy machine to control. Yeah, there's, there's a, lot to, a lot to remember. But with two years at the helm, Mitch is becoming a master. Uh, this is your drive, forward and reverse, and then this pedal here is for the stick to extend. Your uh, boom and stick and bucket are the exact same as a conventional machine. You got your boom here and your bucket linkage, and you got your stick here and your swing. Now you got three more joysticks on here, and the inside ones here and here, they do those front legs. So up, down, and side to side, and then you switch this pattern over, and now instead of going up and down, they go in and out. These outside two do the back wheels, now those go out, in, up, down, whatever you want. And uh, if you switch this pedal over again as well, now you can steer them. You also got this, the control rate uh, on the bottom here. Now um, this is an auxiliary function, so that would be for the power tilt to make the wrist turn to the side. And this is your winch. On these vertical sections, the, the winch really becomes your lifeline that holds you to the hilt. It holds the front of the machine down, it pulls it down and runs up behind you. So it's pulling your feet into the ground, giving you stability. The gradient on this part of the mountain isn't as steep as it gets, but it's been raining for three days, so Mitch isn't taking any chances. The train's also a little bit loose. It's topsoil on bald rock, and the problem with bald rock is it's smooth. So you got a good footing on something, and all of a sudden, all that topsoil on top just wants to slide away. Here in the rugged BC interior, there's no shortage of work for a machine like this. And Mitch's unique skills are crowning him king of the hill and more. So I can kind of walk around that tree and go down to that creek without disturbing the environment as much. A track machine would be cutting a road in to get to that same job. I've had people say before, um, they said, well, you went through there. Um, if, if you time the wheels right, you don't spin them, it, it's hard to tell. I mean, you give it a month, it, everything grows back over, and you can't really tell it, that you were there before. I'm sure it'll catch on eventually, but uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's cool to be able to do those jobs and uh, you know, become that guy that you know, gets called for that steep or that challenging job. So yeah, it feels pretty good to, to do that type of work. But a little bit of adrenaline rush, I can't uh, lie about that. I enjoy that as well. <laughs>